Alright guys, welcome back. Tonight we're going to be taking a look at the Trijicon HD XRs. Now I've had these XRs for a couple months now. I used them on my latest Glock 19 build. So they are on this build right here. I'll go ahead and show you guys that the gun is clear. We will be playing around with it a little bit. And then I have regular Trijicon HDs on this build. Now for me personally, I just, I really didn't jump on the XRs right away. I just didn't see them being that much difference from the regular HDs. But now that I've had a little bit of time with them, you shot them at the range, and even had a few buddies shoot them compared to the HDs, and they do make quite a bit of difference. Now the XR stands for extended range. Now what did Trijicon do to make these sights, you know, the XRs? Well, what Trijicon did was, on the front sight post, they were getting a lot of complaints on the regular HDs that the front sight post was just too thick. So with the XRs here, they went ahead and made that front sight post a bit thinner. Now, you may not think that it's going to make that big of a difference, but guys, it really did make quite the difference. The field of view that you get with these XRs compared to the HDs, there's just a huge difference. Now, for the most part, these sights are still basically Trichicon HDs. Um, they're offered in two colors, which I went ahead and got the green just so I would have both colors. They're offered in this green here, and then they're offered in orange. Now, some guys like the orange. It seems to be the more popular option out there. But I'm telling you guys, I really have enjoyed the green. Now the green and orange that you guys are seeing is photoluminescent paint, which means it's going to glow. It's not really considered a night sight per se. Um, you're only going to get about seven minutes of glow out of it after it's charged. And you can charge it with a lighter, a flashlight. Um, being in a lit room, just like I am now, will charge them. And like I said, they only stay charged for about seven minutes. Now right inside of that photoluminescent paint, there is a tritium vial. And Trijicon puts, I think it's a steel post, like a little tiny piece of steel, maybe more like a steel rod. Then they attach the tritium vial to that, and then they put a crystal over top to kind of give it a glow or more of a glamour type effect. Now these sights do have the exact same rear sight, which also have tritium vials in them. And one cool thing about the Trijicon HDs, these things have a wonderful ledge on them. So you can literally rack these off of your boot, off of a table, off of just about anything you can find. Now these sights are made of steel, so they're known to be very tough sights. And to be quite honest, the Trichicon HDs are probably the most popular sight on the market. Now there are some good options of sights out there, which we're going to get into some of that here in a little bit. I do have some other examples of great sights you can get, but for now we're going to stick to these sights. So the biggest advantage of having a thinner front sight post like these XRs right here have is shooting at distance and no I don't mean you know a hundred plus yards which I guess these would help you out at that range but pretty much anywhere outside of 20 yards is gonna give you a better field of view to shoot your target now I have enjoyed these sights even at close range I found I just personally really like having that extra field of view now getting into the old Trijicon HDs the only thing that's gonna be better with these sights is that orange dot up front is going to be a little bit bigger because the sight's bigger. When you get into the XRs, the dot shrinks just a little bit, but it's still a very, very bright dot, so I really don't see it being too big of an issue. As we're approaching the end of 2017, these sights are roughly the same price. Now, I did see that the Trichicon HD XRs were about $126.99, and the regular HDs are about $119.99. So $120 versus $127, there's really not that big of a difference. Now, one cool thing, if you already have the regular Trichicon HDs, and you want to upgrade to the XRs, you can get just the front sight post. Now, I think that front post alone by itself is about 75 bucks. In my opinion, I just don't know if that's worth it. If anything, I would sell my regular Trijicon HDs and maybe just upgrade the whole set, but that's completely up to you guys. Now, one huge downfall with the Trijicon HDs, and I don't know why Trijicon is doing this, they do not make suppressor height sights. I think that is just ridiculous. Right now, like I said, we're getting towards the end of 2017. Red dots on pistols are very, very common. And quite honestly, if they did sell these in suppressor height sights, I don't think they'd be able to keep them in stock. Now just real quick, I want to touch base on a few other sights that I run on my guns. This here is another Glock 19 of mine, and I do want to show you guys that it is clear. This is my Loki Tactical build, I absolutely love this thing. And as you guys can see, I am running a Trijicon RMR, so I could not run Trijicon HDs. But I am running XS Big Dot sights on this, these are suppressor height sights. I've really enjoyed them, I really do like these sights on this gun. 
Now your XS Big Dots are gonna be a little bit different than your traditional three dot sights. Some guys love these, some guys hate them. It's really up to you and you really have to run them to find out if you like them or not. Now another set of sights that I've personally liked and I have ran True Glows in the past. This is my Glock 43. I will show you guys that it is clear. Um, like I said, my Glock 43 here, I'm running the True Glow TFXs. Now I was running TFOs before these and I really enjoyed them. They were great sights. I got a lot of use out of them, but um, I was sent out these True Glow TFXs and I have been really enjoying these. I found that these are kind of the best of both worlds being fiber optic and tritium. And the price is right. Um, I'm not sure what the TFXs are going for right now, but I know like the True Glow TFOs, you can get them for a fairly decent price. Well guys, that's about it with the Trijicon HD XRs. At the end of the day, they are worth the money. They're Trijicon sites. Trijicon puts out great products. So definitely check these out if you haven't already. And if you haven't checked out the regular HDs, they're both awesome sites, but I do think that the XRs have a little bit more a little bit more to offer compared to the regular HDs. So thank you guys for watching. I really do appreciate all your support. Big shout out to Optics Planet for sending these Trijicon HD XRs out. I will put a link below for Optics Planet and I'm not affiliated with that link. I do not make anything off of it. It just lets the guys know at Optics Planet that people are seeing my videos. So I definitely appreciate it if you guys do use that code. Now I'll also leave a bunch of other discount codes, a bunch of other product links. So definitely check that stuff out as well. As always, thank you guys for your support. Please like, share, subscribe, and I'll catch you guys in the next one.